Look at some of the the old houses. And oh, Jason back there, Tractor Supply. Really great guy there at that Tractor Supply here in Charlestown, right on the outskirts of Charlestown, West Virginia. Really cool guy, and it's crazy. He doesn't look the age he is because he, he knows the Heckingers. If you live in the D.C. metro area and you know what a Heckinger is, um, then you know you've been around a little while because Heckinger's used to be a big hardware lumber store like the Lowe's and the uh, Home Depot. And when the father, John Heckinger, passed, this the family ran the business into the ground. Eventually, they had to bankrupt the place and close it. And Home Depot and Lowe's, they all freaking just destroyed them. So, here are on the courthouse steps. Yikes. Oh, no, that's not. That's the bank of Charlestown. All right, got to go up a few more more streets on this cool April day yeah I was saying Jason really knowledgeable guy back there at that tractor supply and he's been around the block because he worked for Heckinger so they closed he worked at Home Depot and he actually grew up there in that Northern Virginia area and uh, just a really nice uh, nice guy and but he moved out here to West Virginia a while back and he just loves his West Virginia rural areas. Ask me about the chickens. You ever see little baby chickens? And I just thought to myself, man, who's buying all these chickens? And he said, a lot of people buy them for pets. A lot of people buy them for, uh, to make, you know, for their eggs. But the majority of it, in some ways, is for pets. My daughter always wants me to get one, but I'm always like, the dogs are never brought up around, you know, they just weren't brought up with that. So the odds are they're going to try to kill the dang chickens. Wow, this here is backwards. Now we're in the back road streets. Look, the trailer, as I get closer to my friend, Bob. You know, it's crazy. My good friend Bob just bought this house. And and right after he bought it, he that, that cancer set in. And for my good friend Bob, he's had his challenges in life as well. Just financially and all and he was renting he was renting a house for years and years and years and apparently like the father died and then the kids got involved and they kicked him out because they wanted to sell and cash out of it so then he was borderline he didn't know if he's gonna be able to get in our house so he went through some very challenging times and he picked up this really cool house out here that's just it really is a just really is cool and there's his truck here is his residence. And the house got really nice and cleaned up and all that stuff. So I'll just park out front here and see what he uh, what he says. So I'll call him right now. Oh, I texted him. That's funny. Bob, Bob had a hell of a year last year right before he got... Uh, knew he had major cancer his truck sitting out here in the street got sideswiped by some kid did major damage to him yes alright let's go up here and see if Bob answers the door for his friend and we'll see if he gets the surprise of his life right hey puppies now do I do the moment of surprise do I keep him in the video do I He's like, Gary, hey, puppy. Yeah, he's got guard dogs. He's a dog guy. He's got a German Shepherd, too. Let's see. Did he come out? Hey, Bob. Hey, Gary. Come on. Look what I got you. Wow, where did you get that at? Track supply. Oh, my God. Now, it's a 5 by 8 Is that going to work? Oh, perfect. Perfect, yeah. Wow, cool. Oh my so God. there's your, that's me giving back to you. Oh. And then as you know, we talked about this other day. Oh my God. Oh. Now, I debated putting it together for you, but man, my hauling grills, you're on my YouTube channel right now, just so you know. Oh. Hey, <laughs> it's Bob here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what about Bob? What about Bob? <laughs> so, uh, so anyways... Uh, my experience with carrying grills hasn't been good, Bob. So I bought my sister a grill in Florida, uh -huh. and I put it at the tailgate of the truck. Oh, it did. Hell out. It, 
Yeah, I bought two grills. So I'm just not excited. I don't know how, I don't know your vision is on how you're going to like secure this thing. So, because it doesn't have high sides. Yeah, I don't so, want so, high sides. This so, is perfect size. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. but I just rather, but if you want me to help you put that together, I can. Yeah. No, I'll just put it on here. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, Gary. Here you go, man. You're, you're going to be up and running. Oh, so what's really cool is in Maryland, if I bought the trailer, you'd have to go to the DMV and get the tag. In Virginia, if I bought the trailer, you'd have to go to the DMV and get the tag. So I never, I would never be able to take the trailer until you took the time to go to the DMV. West Virginia, they gave you the trailer with the title right there. <laughs> is that what, is that meant to be or what? Aye, aye, aye. So, so that's really cool. So I get the title, I just signed over to you and you do whatever you want. Awesome. You know what I mean? Oh my God. So I we lucked out because otherwise you literally would have been yeah, it would have been a project. So anyways, that dang thing weighs close to two hundred pounds. One hundred sixty pounds. Yeah. 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 I know. So, <laughs> so what's your thoughts on? I can pull the trailer around back to your back side of the house. Yeah. And then I've kept this out of the rain. So. What's your thoughts? Just we'll put it on the train, put it on the trailer, and put a cover over it. Yeah, I got a cover in the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Oh, you do, hey, buddy. I'm glad you're around. Well, I'm glad I'm around. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hoping I can be a lot, around for a lot longer. Yeah, well, I think yeah. you will be. Hey, man, you beat that one. I'm sure you can beat anything now. <laughs> right. What was it called? Was it a stage four or what was it? Yeah. You had stage four throat cancer. Yeah. I, I, I forget how they, what they call it. Or something or yeah, your esophagus, you had esophagus yeah. cancer. Yeah, it was, it was, it was to the point to where it was going to cut off my airway. That's why they put the trach in. Right. And I still got the hole there. Yeah, but you really can't notice it really. I and mean, it doesn't affect your voice. Uh, which I is, I mean, <laughs> well, but now, nah, but I mean, there's some people that that have that hole in their throat, and they, uh, I mean, it's really bad. Well, you know? no, they, that's whenever they get surgery. Yeah, and they they take their voice box and everything. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew a guy that worked in my barn that had that. Yeah, and I had that. They had I had that option to get surgery and cut it out. Yeah. Okay, but they would have took my voice box and everything. Right. And that means you can't get into any water into it because well, it choke you. Wow. You drown. Wow. So you couldn't go swimming or shit like that. I said, right. no, I'm not doing that. Wow. I didn't um, even know that. Yeah, yeah. So you 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 rolled the <laughs> dice that you'll beat it without doing that. Well, I rolled the dice and see what happens. If it wouldn't it didn't right. work, I would be say, see right. you later. But it never got in your lymph nodes or organs, right? Or um, did it? It was in my, it started in my lymph nodes down here. Yeah. Okay, but it was minor. Right. The major was up here. It but was, you didn't even know this was going on. You just were tired a lot. You noticed you were getting tired. I remember you telling me you just seemed to get fatigued easier before that, you figured that out. That and had difficulty swallowing. Yeah. Food. I mean, everything I would cough back up. Right, right. All right. Yeah. And, you know, because I had that, they did that trait. Right. It's right down at the food channel where it goes down. Right. So it, it, it's still, I have if, issues. With food getting stuck. Yeah. And, you know, I'll cough it back up. But, right. You know, I just have to wash it down. Yeah. Right, right. I get you. Right, right, right. Yeah. But, but you're, but as of January, you're totally um, cancer free. Yeah. And then you go back every four months to be checked. I go back May here uh, to get another pet test. Yeah. And that'll tell me whether I, you know, it, it's come back or it's going somewhere else. Right, right. You know, um, and hopefully it hasn't. Right, right. You know, but the good news is, in January, you were clean yeah, yeah, after yeah. your chemo. Yeah. And you're, you're feeling good. Yeah. I mean, you're getting back. You lost 60 pounds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was the biggest challenge, that you lost so much weight. Yeah. I, so, look, I look like one of my Holocaust victims. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now you're getting, you're slowly gaining your weight back. Yeah. And you're getting your strength back. Yeah. It just takes time. Yeah, it does. But your attitude hasn't changed. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. You, know, you yeah. just got to go on with life. So, so your goal is, I was telling people on the YouTube channel, your goal is you want to go give back. You like to barbecue. You like to cook. You want, you'd want you like to have your own barbecue operation if you could. So your vision here is you're going to put two or three grills on this trailer. Right. Two or three. It'll be three. I'm going to put a griddle, a gas grill, and a charcoal grill. Okay. Okay. Because one of the things about charcoal grill is 
you get that smoke yeah you get that smell yeah and people smell that it's like you know they 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 want it okay it smells so good so so you're gonna go around your goal is you're gonna go around and uh i think this lady does this lady live here no no does she live here okay Oh, okay, okay. So we okay. need to move up. We'll go on the back. Yeah. We'll go on the back. All right. We're going to take this thing now back. It's tight, tight, tight. That's for sure. So to back this thing in. Now, these little trailers are so easy to jackknife. I mean, they're so easy to jackknife. Part of me says just to drive in. First, you're trying to back this thing up. It'll be very challenging. I already know that. All right, hey, miraculously, I didn't destroy the trailer, backing it up, but we got to finish the story. So Bob, his vision is you're going around to your clients and customers, and you're going to make them food. Right. At no charge, or you gotta, they got to pay you? No, no charge. Really? Yeah. So you're going to drive around your customer base in the warmer months, nicer months, and you're going to take the time, let them know, give them a heads up, you're going to come by and cook them a meal. A breakfast or lunch. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's so nice That's of you. Not, yeah. yeah. Not all. Well, you know, the company will pay for that. Right. But for me, also, I want to take it like down to the homeless places. Wow. And, you know, give them a hot meal. Nice. That's my thought. That's very nice of you. Wow. And, you know, I, I just look at some of these people and it's like they got nothing to look forward to. Right. Right. Okay. And it's a mental illness. You know, these yeah. are people with mental. These aren't the, the people looking for handouts. They just have mental challenges. Yeah, exactly. You know? You know and I think, you know, you're getting, you're getting a, a nice sandwich. Yeah. All right. Or a piece of chicken. Yeah. You know, right. a meal that they, they can't normally get anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's just, that's, that's my envision. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. Wow. So now, are you going to plan to cook with your stuff set up on the trailer, or are you going to pull something off? But you think you'll have... My concern was you need a 10-footer nope. because you wouldn't have enough room. Nope. you got plenty of room. Really? Yeah. Okay. But you always take one grill off. If you had, you always just roll one grill off down yeah. the... Well, I have to, but I, yeah. I think probably... Um, you could always put wooden... You always put some real thin wood... On here, uh -huh. so that your grill would slide, go down it really right. nice and easy. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, but no, I, I, it'll have plenty of room. Okay. As you can see, this here grill here, okay, once it, once it's set up, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I'm gonna have it, the heavier ones, right over the wheelbase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have all that room here. All right. It'll, it'll take up to here. Yeah. Okay. Then I can put a gas grill on the other side. And I could put a, a charcoal grill in front. Yeah. A small one. Okay. Yeah. All right. When, now, where are you going to put this together? Uh, I'll put it together. I'm going to wait until I know it's not going to rain. Okay. Yeah. But I can put it together right here. Okay. Good. Yeah. Just hook up your truck. So okay. You can always hook your truck up so that the trailer doesn't fall backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Or have Ian sit on the front. <laughs> yeah. I'd do it. <laughs> All right, Bob, I'm going to cut the video off. So this is my great friend, Bob, who miraculously survived a very serious cancer challenge. And he stayed strong because you wanted to live. It's a psychological thing that overwhelmed you. Yeah, I wasn't afraid of dying. I was afraid of not living. Right. That's well said. Good deal. So any encouragement for cancer people out there that you can give them words of encouragement? Fight it. If it works, you'll be good. If it doesn't, hey, you're not gonna lose anything, but it's a little bit of time. Right. You know? Yeah. So, you know. Be at peace with God. Yeah. Stay strong, man. You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. All right, my good friend Bob has his grill in his trailer, and he's excited. And he's a great guy. Name of his wife is Ann, so he moved on Ann Street or Diddy. The dog is about driving nutty, but whatever, right? So, uh, so anyways, it is about giving back to others. You heard his personal story, and he's a strong-willed individual. And I think that's a key. To, the key thing to life and our livelihood is your strong will to live and prevail is huge, especially as you get older. So, uh, wow. 
All right, we're gonna head it on back home on the Give Back Day Adventures. And look at this here, he just is everywhere. It's everywhere, man. Everywhere I drive, there's major construction. There's major development, major growth. And I understand that's not really the conversation today, but, but I just like to travel around and share with you what I see. And, uh, and I things in some ways are better than probably most believe they are. But yeah, whatever on that one, right? So my good old friend, um, I can only hope he can accomplish what he's wanted to do for many, many years. I mean, he's talked about doing this for many years, but it takes money. I mean, you know, that's the thing. But for what he's saying he wants to do, I think that's very, very generous of him. And that's really cool. So uh, always watch my channel. Stay tuned for more adventures on the Ice Age TV. And what's tomorrow morning's conversation? I don't know. We had on Monday the light conversations for the solar eclipse. Tuesday the trade conversations. Uh, Wednesday was the questions conversations. Today was the answer conversation. So how do I wrap up my one word I use a day for the morning conversation? to uh, bring content on cars and trucks, motorcycles, stories, mice adventures, the state of the times, how, what word will I use tomorrow on, uh, on the one word. And the thing I try to do is I never reuse the same content again, meaning I look through my videos and I type in the word I think about and I see if I've used that before, and I many times I've typed in a word that I've used before, so I can't use that content. I gotta find something else. So, anyways, as always, God bless. Full country out here in this West Virginia area, and uh, and as always, God bless. Stay safe. Stay tuned. Have a great day. Oh, the adventures never end. They never end. Who else go to the store and buy food all the time? You know this story. Look at this Ram truck. It is so big. I park way out here because it's just so damn big. I mean, the truck is really cool. It really is, but it's so big. It's a beefy animal. It's getting windy out here. Yeah, do you really need this big a truck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Trippy Lake. But hey, I love how the seat folds up. This doesn't have the storage thing. So between Heafy sleeping back here and everything else, I got something here. All right. The moment that everybody wants to hear, right? Isn't that what you want to hear? Is this it? Is this the reason? It's all about the rumble, right? The rumble with the diamond, diamond Harley Davidson sticker. What do you think people think I am, huh? I think people think I'm a diamond guy. They think I'm a Harley girl. I wonder who'd want that in the car, <laughs> right? All right, back in the TRX. Yeah, I say I'm gonna stop talking, but I don't. You freaking hypocrite. The guy goes on by his electric vehicles. The guy goes out. <laughs> it's the hypocrite channel. He says he's not gonna buy another car. Yeah, right. I don't think I've said that, or I think I did the first year. Didn't I say that the first year? I wouldn't be buying many cars this year. Yeah, you, you believe in that one? Just give me your wallet, it'll be all right. Trust me, it'll be all right. I won't spend any of your money. I'd never do that. Here we go. People are out of control. Yes, Costco, I come here. Eh, it's such, you know, I know. Hey, if I need brains, just order stuff online, have them delivered to you. Yeah, am I that smart? No, not really. There's a Ram Mega Cab. You need color. So, yeah, this is place, this place. Just a gold mine, just incredible. The wealth of the wealth. Got my premium gas, which is uh, $4 here. So, $4, I think, 19 cents. What's really weird is Costco took down their little price sign, but it's back. So, four sixteen. So, gas prices have crept back up. So, filling this thing up. I just met a really cool guy, TJ. If you watch my channel, hey TJ, good meeting you and your friend. A gentleman came up to me that really loves Ram TRX truck. It's his dream vehicle. So this is what is going to make. This is his answer to happiness. If you watch my YouTube channel, the answer conversations. And so for TJ, 
his answer to happiness is going to be this Ram TRX truck. He really wants one. And so, and he was hanging out with me. We were talking, and his friend was there. So then I pointed out to him, you got to get, well, pointed out to him, maybe gets eight miles a gallon. <laughs> and he's like, ooh, that hurts. And I said, but then you got to buy a premium, too. He's like, really? I'm like, this supercharged Hellcat motor likes the good stuff. You got to pay to play. So anyway, he's a really cool guy. He subscribed. He actually got my phone number and person he texted me. Apparently he's a marketer. Maybe I can use this guy to market some of my paraphernalia that I've never developed, right? So uh, it's the Ram TRX conversation. Because I just like to talk about the Ram TRX. And the rains are coming in. Here it is, my clockwork. It's 3 o'clock in the day. And already the, the road that I live off of is backed up. But what would be really interesting is there a cop up here. All I can say, if that's a cop up here, that guy's doomed. It's a guy that's got a flat tire. And now it's the race. The race to get up the road. My daughter has... Why is this, everything so down? I can't... It just doesn't end. Why is this like this? All right. <laughs> doesn't end, does it? It doesn't. You can get a speed. You can get a speed. No, you can get a ticket. If I approach, if I'm into this intersection, see there. If I would have gone, I should have gone. But oh well. Yeah, it is what it is. What's going on today? Everybody's hitting flat tires. <laughs> What's who threw down the nails going down Route 15? Yeah. Right. <laughs>